Hi guys and welcome once again to Transport Fever. I'm James4038 and hopefully you guys are doing okay. So what are we going to be up to today? Now I really want to get this line, uh, my new ring line, in more use. So I've currently got three different types of trains running on it. I've got a passenger line, I've got the oil and I've got food. Now I want to get building materials going. And the easiest way to do that is from one of these two building site production facilities. So I am going to need to deliver stone to these, or one of these, and then I'm thinking truck that up to here. Just like with this one, I might put a second depot in, because having two depots will stop the trucks sort of interfering with each other, and it will still connect to the station. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also going to need to increase the the station itself. So I thought I might end up having to do this. So, you know, we'll get it done now and then we won't have to worry about it later. So, we're going to remove that like that. Now I'm going to unpause for a minute and just let this train load up. So that way I'm not losing anything from this station when I do the alteration. So I'm going to upgrade you to a 4-track and apply. Perfect. So I'm now going to add you in to connect to you and you to connect up to you. Perfect. So because I've got that, I can now add a fourth train that stops at this station. Now in the same way I did the food, I'm going to put a waypoint just here. Just so I can control the train itself. Because it's going to be stopping at all the same stations the food line is stopping at. So I want to make sure it actually stays on the fourth line. So that's that part done. Now I need to actually connect one of these up via road because this road isn't very direct and it doesn't look that good you know you can't get to max speed on the little country road so we're gonna go with a large country road from here and we're just gonna head up and join up somewhere around here so that will just make our trucks go a little bit faster when heading up that way I'm now gonna add in couple of depots. Now as I say I could just have them stopping here but having two different um, deliveries stopping in the same depot can slow the depot down a lot. So instead I'm gonna put it somewhere like this. So this will still be connected to this station but it gives me somewhere new that I can stop at. I'm obviously gonna need a depot down here as well to connect to. go. Yep, yeah, you're connected. Perfect. So we will set up the new route. I won't add any vehicles on it yet though. There we go. And you are gonna be road, cargo, building. Oh. So obviously it's just going to be the building materials that get brought from here up to there. Perfect. Now obviously I'm going to need to supply this with stone. And I've got a couple of options. I could alter this stone line and send it up this way. But I'd prefer not to for the simple reason that, you know, just like in my previous videos I've said, I'm waiting for you guys to comment to find out what you think I should do because I, I really want to make this line sort of a a more community orientated one. I want to hear your feedback on it. So I'm not going to touch that one until that point. So that leaves either these stone, <coughs> excuse me, or this stone. And to be honest, I am inclined to go with this one. It's closer and I think it's going to be easier because it's not crossing as many lines. So we are going to put a train using a 
terminating station, high speed, and we are going to put that somewhere around here. Um, the more angled, the better, although the more angled, the less likely it is to actually get over the water. Um, that should do us. Oh, and that's a passenger one. Damn it. Oh dear. Always check that you've got the right type of station before you place it. Thankfully I've got quite a bit of money at this point, so it doesn't matter too much. I've not wasted that much of it. So I'm going to come over the water. And I really want it to come that way. Obviously I'm going to need to make it a bridge. So that's good. I mean, we'll still have the ability to have boats go under. And we're going over this train line. I think that looks quite good. Uh, I do want it to be the best bridge possible because I want it to be the highest speed possible. That I think looks good. And then from there we can sort of circle it round to there. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, I am going to need to double track this because I'm going to have more than one train running. That'll do. Oh, damn you. Really? My mouse is driving me up the wall at the moment. It keeps sort of misclicking. And even when I've got the button firmly held down, it sort of lets it go. Right. Perfect. <coughs> now, I might end up going through a field or two, but, you know, never mind. Right, if I head it up this way, I can add the station somewhere here. So let's just add it in now to make sure it actually connects properly. It does. Yeah, you know what? That is good there. A little bit of land difference, but all in all, not too bad. Come on, I want you to go in. Thank you. Keep coming. <clears throat> oh, really? <sighs> there we go. Do it in smaller bits. Less likely for it to sort of lose it then. <clears throat> Perfect. I just want to alter the terrain a little to make it look a little nicer. Doesn't look so much like it's cut straight through the ground then, it looks like the, the ground is sort of more level. And I think it just looks nicer. you connected to that one? You are. Are you connected to that one? You are. Perfect. Okay. Just need to add some signals in. And I also need to add the depot. But we'll get to that. God, it's actually going well with this bridge. <laughs> Makes a change. <laughs> Normally it's so complicated adding this, uh, the signals in. But, as I say, this one's actually going well. Oh, no it won't. There we go. I also like going over the other train track. That's quite awesome. What are the odds that we'll have two trains going by at the same time? Wow, that 
that's quite a deep ravine that I'm ended up going through, isn't it? <clears throat> I didn't think it was as deep as that, but okay. probably only need one or two, well, I say one or two, probably two or three trains on this line. I don't need many. Now, for the depot. Uh, train will be travelling that way. Really? Stop playing up. There we are. Add a signal to it. Perfect. So that'll get the trains on the line. To get them off again, I'll deal with it somehow if I ever need to get the trains off, but... Right. Buy trains. Hmm... I'm not sure what I want pulling this one, to be quite honest. I could just have something like this. Doesn't cost a lot. It's a little slow, but and you're expensive yearly. Then again, these are really expensive yearly. Hmm. Do I want just a little, you know, a little bit slow, but can pull a lot. Hmm. I don't think I've used this train yet. Yeah, you know what? I've not used it yet, so let's go for it. Speed isn't everything. Okay. So you carry stone, the open wagon, so we will have you. Ten. Fifteen of them? Yeah, fifteen sounds good. And I think we'll have four trains in total on this line. So, now I actually need to make the line. Okay. Oh, I've not changed your colour to blue. That's better. Now, um, if we have a look... Yeah, we've got the stone there. I can just name this stone ring, probably. Okay, so we want a new line from here down to here. TC. There we go. Help if I deleted what was already there first, wouldn't it? Okay. Set all to TC ring. There we go. Ah, that is actually going to be a slight problem because then I'm going to name that TC ring. Oh no, because this is TC stone, that's going to be TC building materials. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll just use the depot from here. We'll add 15 of these to RC building. There we go. And now I've got to actually add the train on this line. So, come to our depot. Now, for this, I am going to use the uh, Class 103. It's the standard train we're using, so, yeah, may as well keep using it. Now, building materials are carried with the open, or the state car, that's the one, 
construction materials. Well, I've called them something slightly different, but it doesn't really matter. Now, I want to set these to only carry construction materials. And I'm just going to buy them until I come to... That's 325, so that's going to just stick out of the end of the... Uh, end of the platforms. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to start with three of them on the line, and now I need to actually set the line. We're being quite productive. We've not been playing long, and we've already got a new line set up. Well, three new lines set up, in fact. So, TC. Building. I know they're construction materials, but I see them. I see a brick and just think building material. So, yeah. Uh, change you to orange, and then let's get through this. Now, first thing I want to add is you. Well, must contain at least one stop first. Alright then. We'll add you after. Don't need that. Do need you. Oh, well, it is smart enough to have put it on the fourth line, but just to make sure, we'll add that. As I say, it just means that no matter what, it won't swap lines on us halfway through or something. So, yeah. So, if we take a look. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There's the depot. So we need to add you onto building ring. Done. Here they come. I think this is the first time we've seen the largest um, open cart. So many of them as well. Wow. It's just never ending this one train. <laughs> Now they will eventually spread themselves out a bit, just like all the other trains that we put on. And now we have two lines left. Oh, turn you off, because I can't stand seeing that. Ooh, that's slowing down a little, isn't it? <clears throat> You'd think some of them would overtake if they're not stopping here, or are they all stopping here? Oh, they're all stopping here by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, these ones go that way. Oh, so that's excellent. They won't slow each other down, I don't think. Oh, no, they probably will if all of these try and turn at the same time. <coughs> we'll have to see and check and see what happens, basically. Good amount of food. What is the slowdown on the food? Just the production. Yeah, because your potential is ridiculous. Oh! We have a new truck and a new boat. Excellent! So, let's take a quick look at that new truck. This looks like a proper truck. So these carry 16 and this can carry 20. Awesome! about you? What is your potential? Yeah, see, your potential isn't that high. But is that because there's not enough sort of vehicles that can move it? Or is it because you're just slow? I am tempted to change all these vehicles for the newest one that we've just got. Yeah, you know what? I know they've not been running very long, but replace. I want these to be the big trucks. Five and a half million. I don't care. Oh, look at that. That looks like a proper truck, doesn't it? That's what you expect to be delivering large amounts of food and stuff.
and it's getting up to its max 62 mile an hour, which is awesome. So it's actually worth it. Bit of a slowdown there, but... Then again, I say it's a bit of a slowdown, they are getting in and out pretty quick. <laughs> I think it's working well. Now, I think stone is being delivered. Oh. How much stone have you got? A single car full. Okay. Well, I have only just started this production line, so hopefully, eventually, it will catch up. Then again, 133 grand for a single car of stone? That's pretty good. And the next one's not far behind. Yeah, I think four is a good number for that. It, it spaced them out quite well. We've just got to wait for this to decide that its potential is a lot higher than it is. Oh. Concorde. With four passengers on. Nice. What about you? Oh, see, you've decided your potential is a lot higher. So it's just got to reach that. Well, that's all right, then. It'll get there eventually, then. Let's do some smoothing. alright. Round here looks a bit awful. Everything's a different height. I don't think I'll ever sort of get it to be perfect because of the way it is, but never mind. It's better than nothing. And it works, so yeah. Oh, I forgot about all the track assets and things like that. I could add sort of things along the tracks and things like that to block it off from the cities and things like that like <laughs> maybe I should add some of these go round and sort of add some of this especially on the bridges and stuff like that oh, auto save yeah I mean would that look good all up the bridge side then again, the bridge has already got that, basically. I could split all the rails off from each other. Or at least as I'm going into the cities and stuff like that, just add this to block it off from the city. <laughs> um, let me know if you want me to add stuff like this. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I, I just love looking at the trains themselves normally, so... It doesn't bother me much, but as I say, let me know. Oh, look at that. Three trains racing. And the stone one. <laughs> oh, it actually has building materials on it. Awesome. Doesn't have a lot, but it's got some, so it's starting to work. Oh, look at the food train, just sort of creeping ahead. Wow, some of this track is really uneven. <laughs> it's only when you look at it through first person like this that you realise how sort of bumpy the track can be. We'll probably stick with it through the tunnel. This does look awesome, though. Oh, 
Oh, the food one's really getting away from us. We're actually losing it. You wouldn't think it was that much quicker. Considering it's the exact same train, the carriages must just weigh a lot different. Although we keep catching it up as it's slowing down for the stations, so... Although it's, it's going a lot quicker than us, because it keeps departing earlier. <laughs> God, I love this game. Oh, you didn't pick up a full load. Hang on, if there's some left, why didn't you pick it up? Or is it because it's waiting for the next train to have some? Hmm, it's not got a lot stored. I might need another oil train on the route. Where's the next one? Oh, you're just leaving, or well, just arriving now. Oh no, you're just leaving. But you're not got full load. Oh, why is there food here? Why would the food get delivered up there? I have no idea. Wow, look at this. Wow, that's bad. That is terrible. <laughs> um, I think I need to sort that out. I need to add another depot somewhere. Hmm. You know what? Delete you completely. Smooth all the terrain out. Okay, I can add you there. And I can add you here. Yes, I can. Perfect. Right. So, you, instead of going there, go here. And the oil will continue to go to that one. Now this station still connects to that, so that's perfect. So by doing this it'll open up. These lorries won't get slowed down. or well, they shouldn't get slowed down. I am also going to replace all of these with these. So they go that little bit faster and they can carry that little bit extra. Wow, well, look how bumpy that road is. <laughs> See, this is the problem that you get when you start increasing the lines coming through on this. It starts really messing with other things. So you just have to be really wary of like what you're doing. You've gotten rid of the food that was waiting there, that's good. A lot of you are going back empty at the moment, aren't you? Is that until it works out that it can deliver? Ah, there we go, starting to fill up again. Good. Come on, keep moving. Move quicker. I might have one or two too many lorries on there now. Oh. New vehicle! Ah, new plane! Well, I think my current aeroplane is actually working though, isn't it? Where are you? 
name. Oh no, it's losing a lot. Wow, that's losing quite a lot. Oof. My boats are doing well, my hovercraft. So, the building materials is losing money, but I've only just built it. Same for the ring, for the stone, but again, just built it. The aeroplanes I do need to sort out. They're, they're not working very well. The food line isn't making much either. Well, that's disappointing. But a fuel is still making 16 million. I think it will work better now because I'm... Uh, my lorries shouldn't be uh, slowed down as much, although, wow, they're getting a bit slowed down there. Wow. Okay. But yeah, I, I seem to have sorted it out a little, which is always a good thing. I wonder if I can upgrade that bit of road. No, I can't. Never mind. You know what? Say goodbye to that bit of road, because that's just causing complications on this. It's adding more junctions and more junctions means it goes slower, so yeah, no thank you. Okay. Right, still managing to drop some building materials off, which is a good thing. Now, I went with the large depot for this because obviously I've got three different trains dropping stuff off at the moment. So I wanted to make sure that uh, they had enough space to be able to drop off like that. How much oil is waiting? Almost. Almost a full load. Will it get a full load before the train finishes reloading? Come on, 300. Yes! Perfect! Excellent! So it managed the full load of oil. Good amount of passengers as well. How many are you going to drop off at this station though? Good amount. And you managed to pick up every passenger that was waiting as well, so... I think my ring line is doing well. Wow, look how much food is waiting. <laughs> so what is your top speed? Well, let's check with one of these ones. How fast are you managing to get? 50. So yeah, upgrading to those bigger lorries is a good thing, because it, it does go a lot faster. Now, how about stone? Bringing in a lot? 37, 38, wow, you're pretty slow. When a lorry is moving quicker than a train, you have to worry in some respects. Okay, so you're managing... 36 stone at the moment. That's pretty good. I can't wait for it to actually be full, but, you know, it's it's filling up. Considering when we started it was carrying eight, now they're carrying sort of three wagons full, so... It is building up. Yeah, its potential's increased, so... I think eventually that will uh, get better. What is the frequency on that line? 3 minutes. Uh, but look at that, it's it's Oh that's the building ring, uh, stone ring. There we go. 104 seconds. Well, you're losing a lot, aren't you? It's going to take a while before that's in profit. Hmm. Never mind. But I'm going to leave it there, guys, so, uh, you know, let me know what you think I should add to the ring next. Um, I'm not sure what else I can manage to add to the ring without sort of 
Well, I mean, oh. That would require wood. Well, that makes wooden planks there. I've got oil there. So I could take the oil from there to there for plastic. Take the plastic from there to here. Wood from there to there. Although I need to actually get the wood to it. Oh, well there's wood. So I could take the wood from there over to here. And I may manage to get... Machines. Oh no, it needs steel. It requires wood and steel, or steel and plastic. So no, there's no chance of me getting that for now. I could just supply the wood and get uh, tools. So that might be something to do next. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want me to work on something other than the ring for a bit. And we'll go from there. So thank you very much for joining me guys. Please like, comment and subscribe.